Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. We're on episode number 58 and it's Thursday. Hope you guys are all doing well and um, good luck to you in your both division rivals rewards and season one milestone packs. Uh, let me know what you got from them if they're already out. I'm not sure if when they come out, if it's the morning or the evening. Who knows? We'll find out today though. Uh, but let me know what you got in them. Uh, and uh, whilst you're down there and you've written your comments, scroll up just a little bit and then smash the thumbs up button. We're not talking just a little tap. We're talking like an absolute smasher. 5,000 likes. That's your target. Thank you in advance for that. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, so, this is probably the first episode since they put the patch out, or a title update. I'm not sure that any gameplay stuff was changed, but you can see that there's a few... Actually, we might have already mentioned this, that I've got a few players that have different faces now, uh, like Usman Dembele and Messi have both had updated... I guess they call them like star heads, uh, like their their actual player faces. Um, so yeah, that, that looks a little bit different, I guess. Uh, but we can go into a game of rivals. This was my um, this was my final attempt of potentially going towards the elite division for that one extra red pick. I took a look at the rewards, I took a look at the milestones, and basically, apart from like a couple of thousand coins, it really is just an extra one red player pick uh, that you would that you wouldn't normally get in div 1 obviously. Uh, I found myself 2-0 down at half time though and pretty much just not in the game. Um yeah, I'm struggling at the moment. I really am. I don't know whether or not it's other people that have obviously got to the same point as me and they're just really turning up the pressure because they want to get to the uh, elite division. I don't know. I'm guessing that's probably what it is. But I've certainly been struggling. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe we can do a couple of team changes before the weekend. Because maybe part of my struggle is that I'm just getting a little bit bored with our attack. Um, Messi and Benzema are obviously very good. That's a dodgy goal though. Um, but yeah, like uh, what I'm getting slightly bored with is Dembele and Fekir. I don't know why, um, but it is happening. And I guess I'm getting a little bit bored of Benzema as well. I'd love to completely change the attacking lineup, but we only have a couple of 100k. And like, if I want to get some good players, like this guy just scored with Mares, I'd love that Mares. But if I'm going to attempt to do the Icon SBC, then I just can't, I can't afford to go in for someone like that. Uh, and of course, tomorrow we'll see what we get from our, uh, our overall rewards you know our div rivals and, and our monthly well, seasonally milestone rewards should have a few hundred k packs coming my way which is very nice if we can get a mad amount of fodder then uh then yeah we'll be all good but uh, at the moment it's basically like i need either mares or an icon but i think i'd really like to stretch towards the icon because i think it's better content for you um so I thought, hey, Div Rivals is not working for me. Screw the Elite League I'm, uh, or whatever, Elite Division. I'm going to just pass on that for this season. Uh, hopefully, we can maybe get there next season. But it's not the be-all and end-all. And like I said, it's basically just one extra uh, red player pick. It, essentially, it's just not that big of a deal. So instead of that, uh, I thought, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna go into Draft. Um, and we'll try and we'll try and get through a draft and get some packs because the more packs and rewards that we can get from those FIFA points that are stuck on the account, then the better it will be. Like the more fodder I'll have either for player picks or I'll get someone good that I can sell because all draft rewards, of course, are tradable. Um, so I got like one torch Ronaldo, got myself a Hullet. Um, it was it was looking really really quite good. Um, I have to say, I ended up building just Prem because that's how it was how it was working out for me. But no Prem left back popped up, so I just chose a Mavi. Uh, I think he's the best one out of all of them, and uh, you'll see in a minute how that actually ends up being quite a good choice because uh, Thierry Henry's baby card pops up. Yeah, we could have taken Trent or or uh, or Gabriel Jesus, but if I take Henry and then flip him with Foden, uh, then from the icon links and the strong link from being a French icon, and Mavi actually gets full chemistry. So that's worked out quite nicely in our favor, hasn't it? Um, I take KDB over 
Jesus Corona here because uh, I, I needed like a better centre midfielder. And uh, yeah, I just I think I just get through the rest of it. I ended up getting like a one to watch Messi um, for the bench. And it was a really, really, really nice draft, I have to say. Uh, maybe not the greatest in terms of defence and goalkeeper, but that midfield and attack is certainly something quite special uh, for draft. You don't often get a couple of icons, one of them being Hullet and then Ronaldo as well. Um, so yeah, and, and Messi on the bench, Milito on the bench. It was looking pretty tasty, I have to say. So I go into my first match and I'm like, this guy's not got an amazing draft. I should be all good here. Um, and then I noticed that in passing back to his goalkeeper and I'm like, oh, he's going to give me the win. And he tried to, but he missed. And then he just paused and quit anyway like what just give me the win if you're if you're desperate to get into another draft um so that game didn't count and that should have been win number one taking me into the second round and then effectively my new first game i come up against this a much more solid squad with ronaldinho and i have to say a very very good fifa player um so that sort of wound me up a little bit because now I've got a real test on for my, uh, even with my super squad that we've got here. I know the defense is a bit meh, but uh, even with the the great attack that we've got, I, I still couldn't quite muster up a goal. As you can see, six shots in the first half to my opponents too. And somehow I'm losing 1-0. What's going on there? But Ronaldinho was an absolute handful. Uh, he was pulling the strings for this guy. And yeah, it was Bruno that knocks it to the back post to Lozano, but... Um, I couldn't, I just couldn't, I couldn't defend. Uh, I don't know whether the patch has changed something or not. I suck, essentially. I lost uh, the, the games in Rivals. I'm losing this game. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I'm getting back into it, ladies and gentlemen. Two all. Very, very quick. Nice high pressure team press. And we get a goal from Hullet and Ronaldo. But then, like, the ball just flows through to Ronaldinho. Defender just don't get it. And the goalkeeper just doesn't save it. And I'm like, oh, come on, man, really? Uh, and then he ends up scoring a basically identical goal with Bruno. I don't know what my goalkeeper was doing. But he dives forwards and down instead of across and, you know, actually trying to save the ball. Um, and then when I ended up just knocking the ball out with Messi there, I'd lost my head completely. Uh, I quit the game. I think I dashboard my Xbox. Yeah, I turned my Xbox off. Uh, I was in a very, very annoyed state, which is... <sighs> It was such a good draft, and I lost it in the first round. But I could have been through the first round if that guy had just scored their own goal and quit like he was trying to do, but then he missed it. Like, ah, what could have been? I could have made it to the final. Would have been up against a totally different opponent. Who knows? Could have been someone terrible, and I might have managed to get my way through. Got some better packs for you guys. Sadness. Sadness washes over me. Um, we got three gold packs, which... Uh, is essentially when they when they, you could buy them with FIFA points was 100 FIFA points. So th basically, this is like me opening uh, the 300 FIFA points in packs, I guess. So it's not really made much difference there. Um, but it's going to be difficult to make 15,000 coins back from three 5K packs, as, which is what essentially draft costs. So uh, yeah, it's a, we, I don't think we've done particularly well there in terms of our rewards but i guess it's given me a couple more players to maybe grind out a few more um sbcs like this rule breaker one and then i'm gonna i'm gonna try and get as many uh player picks done for you in a minute as well as i can so uh it it did give me a few things in the club so I, i'll give it that but it certainly wasn't my finest display in draft um for sure i've lost every single game since the title update has been out like is there has something changed that i'm not aware of I don't know. It's just not been good. But anyway, uh, I do an SBC, get a rare mixed players pack, and we pack out Bamiyang. That makes that SBC totally worth it. Um, he's, I mean, it's tradable, but uh, I don't know how much he's really worth. Uh, uh, probably, yeah, seven, seven 8,000 coins. Probably the same as every other 85, I guess, on this game at the moment. So I might as well just keep him in the club uh, until we potentially do the Icon SBC. Now, here's a preview pack for an 81 to 84 five or six times players, whatever it is. I un unfortunately only get 84 rated Benyetta. Uh There's two 84s in the pack. I don't think that pack adds up to 20,000 coins. Uh, so unfortunately I won't be buying it, which means unfortunately I can't open another one. Uh, it would have been nice to pack like just a, an inform or something in there that could have helped me uh, 
just maybe open a second preview pack there. But I also gather that the market took another little dip because of that preview pack. Uh, which goes to show you that it really is it really is the preview packs that help the market just like crash crazily. So um, whenever you think you're safe, just beware that probably that night at 6pm they're going to drop some sort of preview pack on you because, I don't know, it seems like they don't want us to have coins. Um, but we have seven player picks. That's all I can muster up from the rest of my club. I was out of non-rare golds. Uh, I got myself uh, a PK there. I also got myself an 87 Chesney. That's good. That makes this little batch worth it, in my opinion. Uh, I take a Jude Bellingham. Uh, Bellingham. Sorry, Newcastle fans. I didn't take Callum Wilson. Um, but the next pack is an 83. It's Pickford. Two more to go then. Can we pack a rule breaker or something good? Oh, no. 82 rated Christian Eriksen. And then the final one is 83 Angelino. So still no like special card or majorly good card from these. But I'll take an 87 Chesney there and some 83 rated fodder, I guess. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, as you can see, my contracts, my tradable contracts have been selling. Sometimes they don't, but they'll go in the next hour, that's for sure. Uh, and then I wasn't sure what to do. So essentially, I had my... Uh, had my third, uh, whatever, booster, jab, vaccination thingy. Um, and I was, oh, I am feeling kind of rough. Uh, it, it makes you get flu-like symptoms. So I needed to get this video done quickly before I get properly ill. So <laughs> I'm guessing I'm going to have a proper flu-like symptoms later on tonight. Uh, but I thought if I go into one more draft, it'll give me enough content for the rest of the episode. Um, and I built it quite quick just simply because it wasn't the greatest uh, it seems like I can build one good draft and then one bad draft or average draft and then another good draft. Like, I guess you look at this and you see Ronaldo, Suarez, George Best, but like the, the core of the midfield and the defense is just not great. And the, the picks just weren't there to be had. Um, so I'm not going to lie, I wasn't overly confident going into, uh, into this game, especially when I match up against someone who's purposely chosen a five at the back and then managed to get better players than me. Um, so I tried to make it work. Like I figured uh, Jesus Navas would be an all right CDM um, a little bit quicker than what we had before. And then obviously I'll bring Tamori on and stuff. But Di Natale just ran the show. Uh, this, unfortunately, is going to be another, another first round exit, which doesn't give me a whole bunch of motivation for me trying to do the playoffs. You know, if I've lost every single game since the title update, it doesn't give me a whole lot of uh, like confidence. Is it going to be tough? Uh, am I just bad at the game now? I, I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, ever since, well, actually I probably haven't lost every, every game since the title update because I was winning in the, uh, the no rules game mode for Fellaini. Was that before or after the title update? I'm not sure. Um, but either way, I guess I have won some games. But they're just friendly ones, which don't really matter anyway, right? Uh, they're, they're, they're a whole different kettle of fish. Um, but as Piliqueta scores that, weak foot, three defenders in that line of fire that decided not to block that, and a goalkeeper, maybe he was on the floor though. Uh, so yeah, I just knew this one wasn't my game after that goal went in. Uh, I was pressuring and pushing to try and get a goal, but it just wasn't working and everything was going straight back to my opponent. I guess what we'll just say is that he was just better on the day. He's a, he was a better opponent. I think if I played that guy again, I could probably get a victory, um, but... Maybe not if I've come away as a 4-0 four four defeat. And uh, GG's to you at the end of the day. It's as simple as that. That wasn't the greatest of drafts, so I'm not too bothered about being knocked out. I definitely was more sad about getting knocked out the, uh, the first one of today's video. But yeah, that's now two draft entries today with FIFA points that we've ended up going out in the first round. And this time we only get two... Two gold packs and then a, a silver players pack. Maybe that's worth more than a regular gold pack, to be fair. I, I don't know. Um, but once again, we would so far struggle to muster up the coins to to make 15k. But I get an 81 to 83 rated uh, player pick. Should definitely get boards from that, right? Wrong. No, no. Just as my luck was going today, we were going to just get given five 81s. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself, I have to say. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a different day. You know, we get our rewards. I know that rule breakers will probably be out of packs, but I'll still open up my rewards because in all honesty, it's about either getting like an icon or Mbappe or Neymar or 
is about getting high rated fodder and I'll take like the you know just the gold rated fodder like a Lewandowski or something like that uh, that would be absolutely brilliant for my icon pack that would be a lot of help actually so uh, yeah hopefully we can get something from that guys that is going to be the end of the episode I have a gigantic headache so I am about to go and uh, probably lay down for a little bit hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better a little bit more human a little bit more like myself tomorrow that would be great um, but if you could do me a huge favor of smashing the thumbs up today, that'd be awesome. 5,000 likes. That's your target. Thank you so much in advance for, uh, for your kindness to, uh, to keep supporting the videos. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Cheers. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, you can find both of those links down below. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will be back again tomorrow with some player picks. Maybe after we do our 100k packs that should be fun and also our qualifiers i need to get on with that as well all right i'll see you then peace <laughs>